Hi YouTube and welcome to another video from me, Rich Co Photo. As you can see on my t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and it has turned up the RAV Power. 15,000 amp, it's done the, for everything from charging phones, cameras, GoPros, extended time-lapse. So let's get it unboxed, take a look, see what you think, leave a comment. So let's get this uh, unboxing underway and show you exactly what the RAV Power Deluxe model can do. It's a Deluxe Series actually model RP-PB19 and it has a capacity of 15,000 milliamps. So as you can see it comes in this nice well presented box uh, and this is the sleeve that you take off. So you just take the sleeve off, put that to one side and now we'll get into the contacts and content of the box. So it's just a brown box. There's no other images or anything on it. So let's have a quick look. And then just open that up. And inside you have a thank you for your purchase. From that power. Your opinion counts, so it allows you to go on their website and give your views and opinions about it. Uh, and then they've got a reviewer program as well if you'd like to go on there and have a look at that. That's it, uh, all the W's, ravpower.com forward slash reviewer. Might be worth having a look at that. Okay, then it gives you an instruction manual. Again, tells you Rav Power Deluxe 1500, uh, 15,000, sorry, milliamps. And then some instructions inside on how to use. It's worth reading, there's only a couple of pages, the rest are in different languages. Um, so although it looks thick, there are actually uh, other languages in there as well. Okay, then you have, you'll contact them if you have any issues or anything, support at ravpower.com. And you can also go onto their Facebook page if you want as well. Facebook forward slash RavPower. Check them out. And this also doubles up as your warranty card. There you go, so it tells you the things you can do. Your 30 days free money back, and then tells you what to do after that. And how to return your products to Rav if you're not happy. So that's all the paperwork done. Let's get to the main event inside, and this is the unit itself. Yeah, just push that box back for a second and let's just have a look at this. So that's the RAV power unit there I have in my hand. If you just press this button here, it will give you the five lights to tell me, uh, four lights to tell me that it's fully charged. And if I wanted to put the light on, it has a little light inside, just press and hold. And then it gives us a little LED light. I'm not quite sure how good that would be, but you know, it's there if you should need it in an emergency for any reason. And just keep your finger on the button, turns off. Okay, so this is the unit. As you can see, it's very well made. All around the outside, it's like aluminium, tough old stuff. And then it's like a plastic unit on the top, but it is solid and well made. There's got its logo on, RAV Power. You'll see their trademark. And then on the front, we have a 2.4 amp outlet and a 2.1 amp outlet. And then your five and going in to actually charge the unit. Now I have found that charging takes around between 10 to 12 hours for this to charge. And you must make sure that the unit is discharged down to at least 25%. So when one light's on, you can actually recharge the unit. I wouldn't recommend charging it when it's 50% because as you may know that some batteries do hold memory. So what will happen is it will just keep on charging down to that and it will get worse and worse and worse. So just run it out if you can. All I've been doing is sticking my phones in it and everything and my GoPros and anything else, my iPads, um, put them in, just let it discharge over time. I have put the light on my phone and then discharged it that way too. So it's worth um, making sure that it is actually discharged before you charge it all back up. So I've just got this out of the box. Um, I did charge it last night actually and give it a, a, a go over so I knew how long it would take. Once I discharged it, it came with about 75% charged. So I charged everything in the house and then it went uh, back to zero. Then I plugged everything in and got it charging overnight. So let me show you what else is in the box. That's the main, obviously, the main bulk of it. So inside the box comes this plastic container that they come in. Let's put that down out of the way. Then you have a short lead. This is to charge it. There you go. So that end would go into the block and that one would go into a USB. Um, I use an iPhone plug. That worked perfectly well. You can actually charge it off your computer as well. So that's that particular one. 
and they do give you another one as well which is just the same as that one but actually a lot longer so if you want a bit further away you need something a bit longer use that one then we have uh, a charger for the old iPhones if you had an old M53 3S and all the old iPads that is one of the units that will fit for that also what we have as well as this little extender this is a, a flat to small um, so what it will actually do and what I have used it for yesterday is you can plug this into there and then that end will actually fit into a GoPro camera okay. so you can use it to charge straight off the unit and then straight into the GoPro so you can use that extension if you want or you can use the GoPro charger you know there's plenty of them around um, you probably already own one so you'll be able to use that so let's just move that out of the way for a second that's the little bag that item came in and now this is the bag and what I have found with this bag actually just looking at it is it's perforated let it breathe so I would use this to keep it safe but also what I tend to do and what I bought this for more than anything was to actually um, do long time lapse with my GoPro so what I think I'll probably do is put this into the bag with the outlets obviously facing up like that then I'll put this and I'll use this just to hang on to um, my tripod of some form and that would just rest on there and then I'll have the lead going from the GoPro Then what we could do is use this lead and then plug that into the GoPro you'll see it probably light up actually. and then I would use that to do the, the long time lapse that I needed to do I'm not sure how long this will last I've charged so much up with this like with yesterday when I first got it and went through everything and charged everything up so I'm not sure how many times it will charge a GoPro but I'm guessing maybe five six seven times this would be able to charge this I guess you can work it out if you look at the ampage that that takes up so there you go that's the RAV I'm going to give it a good field test let's see how we get on with it if you've used one before and you've got any comments please leave them below Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll give you an update in the next few weeks on how I'm getting on with the RAV power. You have a great day. Subscribe if you like. Take care.